So I was asked a question on um, uh, difficult people and losing the spiritual connection around different people and, and losing it and 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 um, uh, on and on how to um, uh, and knowing what to do, but this still happening. So the first thing is um, what's really helped me. It's a bit of a long-winded answer is um to ha have a uh, greater compassion around uh, the idea of not you know applying a lot of spiritual work and yet still getting disconnected around individuals or situations is the idea of karma uh, and the idea of um, um my understanding of karma so my understanding of karma is that life um uh, I can't, you know, I, I can get a guess of my past lifetimes with an individual. Let's say, uh, like, uh, with my mother, it took five years of spiritual work. And I'm pretty confident there was past lifetimes with her. So uh, with karma, um, uh, as I undo uh, do certain spiritual work, as I was doing the spiritual work with my mother, I'd still get triggered. She'd always bring up something new, or I would fail on being able to hold um, the infinite or the observer when she'd bring up a, a thing over and over again. And I just saw it that um, uh, that's that's okay because it's like uh, for various reasons. One is like it depends how heavy the karma is that I had. With, you know, maybe I had like several lifetimes of being an awful parent to my mother so it's not going to be easy for me to transcend things it's like these things which i do a lot of spiritual work on i'll go back again and again i haven't done more spiritual work on it and still get disconnected so i don't um so what helps me just to be okay with that is to realize okay i just say to myself this is a very heavy one uh, it's going to require a lot of spiritual work. I'm not going to get it very quickly, and I'll keep falling down over and over again. But just to have acceptance that some karmas, you know, some individuals I can do a little bit of forgiveness. Uh, God is loving, which I forgive. Or just go to the observer and try and practice the observer, and it's quite easy to transcend so that that person no longer becomes an issue. And then certain people, uh, my mother was actually one of the bigger ones uh that take years and um i my experience was it's like uh even if you uh like if there was something she was testing me on like a uh, polit political debate and argument it'd be uh, like i'd be tested over and over again and, and it would take time to try and get better and better and not being hooked into the drama and then eventually uh, and not every time uh, sometimes it'd be i'd be free of the drama for a while and then i'd get hooked back in to those uh, challenging uh, debates so um and then to do the spiritual work again and be committed to carry on doing the work trying to make progress but also um saying to myself well this is a heavy one it might take a lot of spiritual work it might be quite a while and once you transcend once i tr transcended my mother's political ideas should bring up another trigger uh so i'd have to work on that one as well so um there's a kind of a, a recognition that some karmas are bigger. Uh, I sort of see certain karmas as being um, uh, time unbound. We, you know, like uh, I sort of see karmic law as like some karmas uh, are going to hit me at a certain age and, and maybe a bigger level of karma will hit me at a different age. And uh, therefore, just because things were easier for me to handle with the uh, the spiritual work and the level of consciousness I was at a time in the future, a really heavy one may come, which is easily pulls me in. And it seems that a lot of spiritual work isn't always uh, quickly giving an effect. Um, so I, I really like um, with dealing with these heavier uh, individuals that tend to trigger me over and over again, to do just to reflect on the uh, dr hawkins anti-karma prayer like uh, uh and i would see it like let's say um you know uh, dear god i pray for forgiveness for the one in me uh who's been uh, an aggressive father in this lifetime and past lifetimes or uh, an 
or an aggressive mother in this lifetime and past lifetimes towards others in the past lifetime I may have been a mother so um and then if I think I'm um doing the spiritual work and my mother is, seems to be trying to trigger everything over and over again I do, I'll just say well okay well that's probably because I'm not going to be let off the hook you know probably I was um uh, an awful mother for like 10 years so me doing a little bit of spiritual work I'm not going to release it in myself and my mother's not going to stop doing it until there's a lot of spiritual work done uh, and the karma is released I also sort of see even if I'm doing really well in uh, uh, doing a lot of spiritual work the observer uh, letting go of attack thoughts uh, uh, God is loving which I forgive I'm doing all this spiritual work feeling the feelings allowing the feelings uh, and I seem to be making progress and suddenly take another huge downfall I could say well that's probably just a new patch of heavy karma coming up I might have dealt with the loads of other aspects of the karma but now it's, uh, it's time for this huge heavy karma to come up which is really dragging me down every time I get in contact with her so I just say okay that's probably just the heavy one that's coming up now a different heavy one that's coming up now and uh, and it's okay it's okay to get sucked into the drama and into the distress of uh, separation so um, and then I'll just carry on uh, doing the work so um, Hawkins actually reflect a lot on this you know like the the saints they often are going to most sublime places uh, Mother Teresa and others of just being an in infinite bliss and then lose it and then they uh, um, they have you know they have what's called um, the dark night of the soul kind of like um, oh have I done something wrong god why have you abandoned me and it's complicated he said it's complicated why you might lose the presence for various different factors karmically related uh, globally related um, also there's deeper things in um, a deeper surrender like if I've done some spiritual work will I stay connected to grace and bliss and the infinite forever without any effort and never fall and there's a lack of, there's a certain lack of humility it's like also again it's like if I do if I do the spiritual work and I go into bliss and infinite yeah that should be invulnerable I should never there should never be a reason ever to fall again or lose that for any reason and not uh, that also is a lack of uh, humility that um, for reasons unknown um, because often one doesn't know why one loses it but it may not be because one has done wrong and then it can also be to transcend that so sometimes there's a duality there that I'm doing the spiritual work and falling and and uh, can can that be okay can there be humility in allowing that um, because uh, so as to not go into greater ego that I deserve infinite bliss all the time and if, uh, and also not to go into self-attack maybe I did something wrong maybe I didn't do something wrong to lose that and uh, also the projections onto God and to expectation expectations of life so there are deeper ones there are deeper things and Hawkins says the saints go through that as well on the return back um, for myself for my own experience uh, the idea that I should be in bliss every day and that life should be easy every day for me is um, it's like that for me is like an ego grandiosity it's like no matter how much spiritual work it is it's to be aligned with the infinite uh, the beingness uh, God's grace uh, in good times and bad times and to um, try and let go of self-judgment judgmentalism judgmentalism of God I'm aware that there's huge not just in my own individual karma and why I keep falling down but there's collective karma there's family karma there's global karma there can be all kinds of reasons which I won't be made aware of of why there could be a fall for example um, it could be that um, you know to, to some extent my personal consciousness allows me to experience a level of consciousness but also if I go into collective environments with lower or higher consciousness spiritual connection is easier or worse in a course in miracles group it's going to be easier to stay connected to the infinite because the group energy the group consciousness is supporting my own consciousness uh, and then I might walk out into a pub and and for some reason lose the bliss the connection to God and it's not necessarily 
there can be various factors that are unknown as to why there's a drop. So just to um, just to um, have alignment with the infinite. Um, one of the things is like unconditional surrender. So even if I fall and lose the connection, just to, um, uh, even though I don't know why, is just to be okay with that and just to be aligned and keep doing the observer, even if it's difficult some days uh, or, or not difficult or keep doing the Course of Miracles to uh, all my attack thoughts are attacking my invulnerability. So whatever, or just allowing, just trying to not identify with thoughts and labeling the whole scenario. So um, yeah, those are uh, some of the things I would say on, you know, falling and getting back and, uh, <clears throat> and the dismay at having to fall over and over again. <clears throat>